So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. John Carmack still brings the same genius to the video game world that he brought when he started back working on Wolfenstein 3D, which is trying to do something new and revolutionary with every generation of technology that he creates. We invented the genre. We like to think we perfected it. We strive hard to make that experience. It's what we like to play as players. We can make a first-person shooter, and we can have gunplay, and we've done that before. But again, we're pushing the boundaries. We want to add something unique that we haven't done before. Well, I mean, uh, id Software has such a storied history as creators of the first-person shooter and games that just kind of define first-person shooters like Doom and Wolfenstein. Those are kind of the big heavyweights, right? So I was one of the founders of id Software now over 20 years ago, and I've been behind a lot of the advances in 3D graphics and rendering technology that have been some of the centerpieces of our games throughout the years. I've been with the company for 16, 17 years, and at the very beginning, it was a small group of guys. We have the walls lined up with articles that we've been featured in over the years, and you know, Wolfenstein is the game that created the first-person shooter genre. But Doom is the one that sort of popularized the genre. It defined this in-your-face, visceral, gritty action that really separates out first-person shooters from other games. And you look at Quake, where we had client-server architecture, which is now the standard for every multiplayer game on the internet. Rage is, is an opportunity to take all the cool stuff that we have learned over the years in building those games and apply it in a completely new setting. We have continued to focus on the first-person action side of things, and that's been very much what Rage still takes away from our history there. It is a first-person game. It's about action. It's about intensity. It's how you play the game, what you experience, what happens to you in there. If you're looking for Mayor Clayton, he's right over there. When John Carmack was coming up with id Tech 5, one of the things we wanted to make sure we did is give people something new. This is the first game that is going to use and fully explore the capabilities of John Carmack's id Tech 5. The work that he does, the technology he creates, is just something that you wouldn't see elsewhere. And so a lot of it was just, how do we make something fun with this cool tech? So the cornerstone of id Tech 5 is our mega texture technology. It gives us the ability to tweak every single pixel that you see in the world. Unique texturing is what id Tech 5 is all about. And we have some awesome artists that are able to actually exploit that and put all that detail into the world. The human eye can easily notice repetition in objects and in textures. And if you have a unique environment, that simply doesn't exist. And at any given point, the whole environment has this unique feel and this unique look to it. So you're not running through the same space corridors for 20 hours in raids. We're all a little safer because of that. With the advancements in the physics technology and the navigation systems, we're able to combine this sort of unique gameplay where we're bringing in vehicle combat and first-person interactions into one game environment. We're getting to the point now with Rage where what's in the minds of an artist, what's in the minds of a director, can actually make it into the game. We are arguably the best-looking game on the consoles today. And the point is we are running at two times the frame rate of what other people might argue is the best looking console game there. So this has allowed us to have a distinctive visual style, fabulous top of the line graphics, and still run at 60 frames per second to have a better gameplay experience, not just a better looking game. It's the complete experience. It's really the best thing that it's ever done.